So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to calculate percent composition using just the formula. So we've already looked familiar if you watched the molecular weight and formula weight video. It showed how we got the actual weight of uh, a compound based on its formula. So here you've got calcium chloride. There's one calcium, two chlorines. You multiply by the mass on the periodic table, and therefore you're going to get the parts of each. So that is the part that is calcium, this is the part that is chlorine, and they add up to the whole that is 110 um, atomic mass units. So for um, doing the percent composition, given the formula, we start with the same process, but then we're just going to take an extra step. So you're going to say, well, what percent is calcium, what percent is chlorine? So you would take 40 out of 110 and multiply by 100 and what does that give me? 40 divided by um, oops 40 divided by 110 times 100 and it gives me 36 percent so 36 percent calcium and then if I wanted to do it for chlorine then I would just do that 70 out of 110 times 100, so 70 divided by 110 times 100, and I get about 64% chlorine. And they should add up to a total of 100% if you do the percentage of each individual part. So just as another, uh, an extra step and, and expresses it in, in terms of percentages. Now, if we look at this, I kind of want to do a couple other examples. So I discussed the fact that you would possibly have to figure out the percent that was water in a compound. So hydrates attach water to themselves. And in this last problem here, I calculated the overall um, molecular, or excuse me, formula weight of this to be 250 atomic mass units. And I told you to kind of keep the water like it was one thing, because quite often you would be asked, what is the percent water in this compound? So in order to do that, that would be very easy. I already have my total added up here. I have my water kept separately. And so I know that 90 atomic mass units out of 250 will give me the percentage that is water in this hydrate compound. So I'm just going to take 90 divided by 250 times 100 and I get 36 percent is water. Okay. Now let me just do one more example um, and then you can try this on your own. So I want to do an example of one that has a parenthesis. So let's do aluminum carbonate. This is the formula for aluminum carbonate. So Al2 and then parentheses CO3 with the 3 on the outside. What this means is that you have two aluminums and that you have three carbonates. So if I want to make my list of elements, I've got two aluminums. And then I'm going to have three carbonates. So that's a total of one, two, three carbons. And then three, six, nine oxygens. And then I'm just going to add up and see. So, so aluminum is 27, 24. Carbon is 12, so that would be 36. And oxygen is 16, so that's 90 plus 1. That's 126. Let me just double check my math there. Oh, 144. Oh, yeah, okay. I checked. And then I'm going to add up the total. is 234 atomic mass units in aluminum carbonate. Now, if I want to know the percent that was aluminum, I would just take part out of the whole. So 54 out of 234 times 100. And I get 23% aluminum. And then I could do that for the other elements as well. So just keep in mind that when you do uh, hydrates, it helps to keep water together, and that um, the parentheses, remember, I always like to draw them out like this so I can best remember how to calculate my total weight. So that is how you calculate percent composition given just a formula.